when you download one of my templates, it will look like this. You'll have a folder for documentation and it will have, when you download one, When you download one of my templates, it will look like this. You'll have a folder for documentation and it will have a quick guide in it about basic PowerPoint stuff. It will also include um, information about the fonts that you want to download before you open your file. Your file is located in the other folder. In most templates, there will be an animated and a non-animated version. Inside of both of those, there will be a power a version for new PowerPoint software, like, you know, releases, and another one that uh, works on more finicky uh, computers. If neither one of these works for you, when you open it, message me and we will figure out what's going on and get it fixed. So when you open the template, it looks like this. It has your fonts again as a reminder just to dip, just to install those first. But I'm going to take a quick zoom out look. So this is everything that you saw in the in the preview. These are all the slides. The only thing missing is the images. The images are, however, available. They are free. I can send them to you. I actually pulled up a folder of some new ones that I'm going to be adding um, to a different presentation. And I'll just show you, though, how easy it is to get the images in there. So for this one, it's all wide pictures. So let me see if I can find, there we go, some wide uh, images and it is just as easy as dragging and dropping. So even though the images aren't there when you start, it's not that big a deal. This one, the it hid the little graphic behind it. So if you have a graphic on top of a picture in here, just go up to the top where it says send backward. Click the little arrow, send it back, and you're done. Um, let's see here. Yeah, so it's like that on all of them. Um, you can change, you can change, you, you change all the text to say what you want. Um, and, and it just, it stays the same because I built these on what's called master slide layouts. Um, just a quick peek at the back end. That means this, that they are built from the back forward basically and so that way whenever you want to change the text on a slide you can just, just type hello oh let me turn off the caps lock hello it's me and in this particular one uh the only thing i did differently was i highlighted a word to uh to, to highlight, <laughs> yeah, and so, um, but you don't have to do that, of course, you can leave all of it the same color, and um, this is also built on color theme colors, so this is every color used in the template, so if you wanted to make this whole paragraph the same, you would just do it just like that, or if you did want to keep the dream alive with a little bit of gold and dreams, the colors are right up there, uh, and that also goes for the um, shapes, they're all first line of the theme colors. And just like in the other one, you would just pick an image, whatever picture you want. That one's kind of, I believe that one's in the most, the most recent. Yeah, drag and drop. And you see how that kind of went to the, there was something there. Just send this to the back. And there it is. The animations do still work, um, again, because of the way this template has been built. And also because um, on, on that part, PowerPoint just happens to be really cool uh, in the way it does things. So just going through, I've done transitions and I've done um, animations on all of the slides. And so um, it just, it works. Let's see, where's the one that we just...
change the text on. Let's see if we can see how that one looks. I think it's back. Yeah, this one. Boom. And it just, it all stays exactly how, I'm going to go back and then go to it. There we go. It all stays exactly how you see it. Hope you enjoy it, and I hope it brings you great luck.